Ice Spice is arguably the hottest new female rapper out right now. From TikTok trends to sold out shows to modeling for Beyonce, her rise can be called nothing short of meteoric, no cap. In a world of one hit TikTok wonders, she's one of the few that has managed to stand out, but so much of her private life remains relatively unknown. That's if you don't count the deep dive into her funny Twitter moments before she blew up. Here are eight random things you didn't know about Ice Spice industry plant because of Ice Spice's fast rise in the industry. Some claim or assume that Ice Spice is an industry plant. Diving into YouTube comments and Reddit threads reveals a barrage of claims suggesting Ice Spice's alleged manipulation of the system. However, such accusations predominantly stem from unfounded hatred rather than concrete proof. The notion that she might have advanced her career by compromising her integrity and engaging in illicit practices or by the influence of the powers that be might be circumstantial, but it does stem from some connections. There's there's much to unpack here, and I'll jump right to it. First, there's the pivotal figure in her life, which is the producer known as Riot, aka Riot USA. He significantly crafted her early musical repertoire and remains a constant collaborator in her creative journey. He produced some of her biggest hits like Munch, Feeling You, Princess Diana, Remix, and In Ha Mood. But that's not all Riot's background reveals certain industry connections that might have contributed to Ice Spice's initial rise. As he shared, his mother was once a part of the music industry. Although the specifics of her involvement remain unclear. Additionally, his father's identity as DJ Enough from Hot 97 adds another layer to the equation. These affiliations raise the question of whether Ice Spice's early friendship with Riot might have been instrumental in her ascent, potentially granting her an industry edge that goes beyond the norm, because producers being the architect behind artists' successes isn't new in Hollywood. Also, what cannot be ignored is the care with which Ice Spice's music has been marketed. It's a meticulousness that leaves observers pondering whether she is a master mind in promoting her craft or if unseen hands are guiding her behind the scenes. Her meteoric rise and the apparent ease with which her music reaches a wide audience raise suspicions of strategic maneuvering. Now, while her strategic branding and marketing efforts cannot be denied, especially with TikTok and Twitter, certain incidents have fueled doubts about whether Ice Spice is a product of the music industry rather than a genuine artist. Beyond the negative feedback that some of her songs received online, there's a noteworthy aspect of industry support that has raised raised eyebrows. Take for instance Pitchfork rating her EP at 7.6, a score that was not attained by Drake in 21 Savage's album Her Loss, Futures I Never Liked You, and Lil Baby's It's Only Me, all of which were lauded to be some of the best hip-hop projects of 2022 and sold way more than hers. Granted, commercial success doesn't equate to success with critics, but it still raised some questions. Another notable point fueling the idea that she's an industry plant is the quality of her work. Typically, emerging artists start with low-budget production as they strive to break into the industry. As they gain traction and possibly sign with labels, their productions, especially music videos, tend to adopt higher budgets. In Ice Spice's case, her videos have consistently maintained a high standard from the outset, raising questions about the financial backing behind her. Delving deeper, Ice Spice's association with 10K Projects, her label, becomes significant. Founded by Elliot Grange, the son of Lucian Grange, CEO of Universal Music Group, 10K Projects has powerful industry connections. Artists like 6 9 are also signed to the label which orchestrated a collaboration with Nicki Minaj to rejuvenate his career post-legal troubles. Another intriguing aspect adding fuel to the industry plant narrative is the prominent coverage given to Ice Spice by DJ Academics. True, Ice Spice is currently a rising star in hip-hop circles, and as a hip-hop commentator, Academics will discuss trending artists. But let's look a little closer. Academics' consistent spotlight on Ice Spice and his streams raises questions about potential undisclosed arrangements with her record label. Although no direct confirmation exists, clues suggest a strategic partnership between academics and the label to maintain a continuous buzz around the rapper. Interestingly, during an interview, academics indirectly alluded to such a dynamic by revealing that 10K projects had engaged him for a similar endeavor, albeit involving 6 9 Hmm, Ice Spice's collaboration with Nicki Minaj could potentially be seen through a similar lens, raising questions about her rise being due to connections rather than acknowledgement for her raw talent. In an industry where being intertwined with influential figures and powerful networks could be the difference between global recognition and obscurity. The authenticity of any artist's spectacular rise will remain a topic of great debate. Lil Che's Special Gift 
there's been buzz between Ice Spice and Lil Che, capturing the curiosity of fans and media alike. The intrigue began to simmer when Lil Che presented Ice Spice with an extravagant Valentine's Day gift, an exquisite Richard Mill watch. Crafted with precision and opulence, this iced out rose gold RM005 timepiece, affixed with a white band, held an undeniable six-figure value. Benny the Jeweler, the bearer of this extravagant token, shared this heartwarming gesture through an Instagram video saying, Ice Spice, come pick up your gift. There was so much buzz online about a potential relationship between these two young stars, but it may as well have been a meticulously crafted publicity stunt. This is because not long after, both artists did a track titled Gangsta Boo, featured within her debut EP. However, this track didn't reduce the online talk, it only inflamed it. In an interview with Apple Music, Ice Spice discussed her rapport with Lil Che. She shared that they both had some similarities, like the fact that they both hail from the Bronx and fostered an authentic friendship since the previous year. These similarities made her invite Lil Che to contribute to her music, resulting in a collaboration. She said, I made the song, and then I was just thinking who I would hear on it, really, she told Abro Darden. But I wanted it to be a real genuine collab, you feel me? We've been friends since last year, so I was just like, yeah, who better than him? We both from the Bronx. During the interview, Ice Spice delved into her perceptions of love and relationships. Despite her whirlwind lifestyle, she revealed her love for real connections, confessing her preference for good boys and girls. Lil Che also talked about his alleged relationship with Ice Spice during a recent interview. Despite the drama sparked by the Valentine's Day gift, Lil Che was resolute in defining their relationship as that of close friends, dismissing any notions of romance. For Lil Che, it was all friendship. Mind you, the watch he gave her was a $150K dollar watch, but he brushed it aside, saying it was nothing but a warm New York welcome. A very interesting and expensive New York welcome, I may add. She's from across the street, he says, noting that they both come from the Bronx. That's my friend. But their connection wasn't all New York and friendship. Lil Che said, that they had met the day before his fateful encounter in 2022, lending an air of destiny to their association. He even recounts in his single June 22nd. In the song, he says, this the picture I'ma paint, trying to sign this the day that I met Ice Spice. She came through looking nice, but I was thinking, what's the price? While the rumor mill churned with whispers of romance, the truth remained. Ice Spice and Lil Che stand as steadfast friends. Their connection, rooted in camaraderie, weathered the storm of speculation. The lavish gift of the Richard Mill watch was nothing but a celebration celebratory gesture from Lil Che to Ice Spice. Maybe it was more, maybe it wasn't, but for now, we'll believe their story. Drake. Drake is no stranger to disses. In fact, his disses are some of the things he's known for. So when he allegedly dissed Ice Spice, it was shocking, but maybe not surprising because again, it's Drake in the Drake track. Back outside boys, he rapped. She attend trying to rap, it's good on mute. The cryptic verse immediately set the internet abuzz with speculations flying left and right, pondering whether this was a veiled jab at Ice Spice. Her swift response on Twitter, at least I'm a 10, only added fuel to the fire. Was this a playful exchange or a hint at underlying tension? Keen Eyes noted that he soon unfollowed her on Instagram, fueling the rumor more. Amidst the chaos, Ice Spice decided to shed clarity on the situation. During a recent interview with the New York Times, she calmly dismantled the brewing drama, stating, We're cool. We spoke after that a couple of times, and we're good. There's no beef. She had clarified that there was no bad blood there at all, or anything else deeper. But he never tried to holler, though. Nah, not on no serious sh On some fun sh Nah, not on nothing, really. Funny enough, before the whole song fiasco, Drake and Ice Spice really been cool. It began in August 2022, when Ice Spice's breakout hit Munch caught Drake's discerning ear. The Canadian megastar reached out through DMs, commending her talent and affirming the impact of her on-the-radar freestyle. Soon after, Ice Spice was flown to Toronto for Drake's OVO Fest, a hometown spectacle that marked his triumphant return to the stage where she had a good time. Ice Spice's recollections of that encounter capture how excited she was to be there. Linking up with him was so cool, like, he's mad, nice, and respectful. We went to Ovio Fest. It was exciting because it was like his first time performing in Toronto, I think, in like a couple of years. So it was just a movie. Everybody was excited. The energy was high. Nicki Minaj performed. It was lit. Lil Wayne did his thing. That it was crazy, she revealed. Apparently, the Ice Spice Drake is something of a mentor. During an Apple Music One interview, she unveiled the behind-the-scenes dynamics. Their conversations traverse a wide spectrum, from laughing over shared experiences to serious discussions about navigating the industry. Ice Spice confessed that she often seeks Drake's advice, asking questions about his journey and seeking insights. In her words, and I'll ask him, what should I do with this? Or, how'd you go about this? Or, did you ever experience that? And he'll, I'm not going to give real examples, but he'll tell me, I did this and you should do that too, because you can. And I'll be like, you're right, period. I'm gonna do that. It's like coach vibes. She added that Nicki Minaj is another person she relates to on that mentor-mentee level. She wanted to be an actress. 
Ice Spice, just in her early 20s, is proving that her ambitions stretch far beyond the realm of music. In a recent appearance on Hot 97's Ebro in the Morning, she candidly talked about her New York roots and rapid ascent to online fame following the release of her EP, Like. Yet her aspirations don't merely revolve around the world of melodies and beats, nope. Our girl Ice Spice has her heart set on a different spotlight, the captivating world of acting. A revelation that might catch many off guard is that before her meteoric rise as a rapper, Ice Spice had her heart set on becoming an actress. In her own words, I didn't ever really see myself being a rapper. I always wanted to be an actress. That was like my first passion. But as life often unfolds, dreams can take detours. Ice Spice's path diverged due to her shyness. A major memory from her childhood that stands out was when she joined an acting class with peers who were teenagers. Even though this experience was enlightening, she was very shy. This made her put her acting dreams on hold. I mean, I was definitely writing poetry since I was like a kid and shit like that, like just, you know, in school. But um, I didn't really like ever see myself being being a rapper, like, until I guess I got older, but I always wanted to be an actress. Mm. Like, that's what, that was my first, like, passion. However, as time moves forward, dreams don't necessarily fade away. Ice Spice's desire to embrace acting has been rekindled. The prospect of seeing her venture into the world of acting is more than just speculation. When prompted about the possibility of acting roles during her chat with Ebro, she hinted at ongoing discussions. While no concrete commitments have been made public, the excitement surrounding her potential return to acting is palpable. One thing that shows Ice Spice's uniqueness is her ability to switch gears seamlessly. Her journey isn't solely about one artistic realm, it's a testament to her multifaceted nature. Her flair for modeling was on full display. But even this isn't the final destination. Her acting dreams, once put on hold due to shyness, are now being reignited. For instance, Ice Spice's partnership with her marketing team shows her iconic, dynamic approach. Her EP launch was an extravaganza, marked by a bold Times Square flash mob composed of red-haired lookalikes and a meme generator that added a touch of fun to like. Ice Spice is an artist who believes in providing a holistic experience for her fans, going above and beyond the auditory realm. While her fame has ascended at an impressive pace, Ice Spice's journey is far from over. The music video for In Ha Mood raced past a million views within a day of its release, a testament to her enduring popularity. But what we're waiting for is what this red-haired Barbie does next. We know Ice Spice is ready to explore new horizons, shining on yet another stage, the silver screen. Her dad was an underground rapper. Did you know that rap runs in Ice Spice's very veins? I think I read, and your dad used to bar it up back in the day. He was an underground rapper. Yeah. Do we he know was. who he was? He, would I know him? I don't know if you would know him. He used to be with DJ Duwop. Yeah, of course. And like them. Yeah, like on some underground, you know how it goes. Yeah. Isis Nija Gaston, known as Ice Spice, was born on January 1st, 2000, in the vibrant streets of the Bronx, New York City. Her roots are deeply embedded in the Fordham Road neighborhood, where she was raised alongside her four siblings. A tale woven with diversity, her African-American father, Joseph Gaston, was once an underground rapper, while her Dominican mother, Charina Almanzar, entered motherhood at the tender age of 17. The paths of these two souls intersected at a McDonald's, a chapter that would later give rise to the spirited existence of Ice Spice. However, her parents' journey took a different turn, leading to their separation when Ice was only two years old. Joseph Gaston, a man steeped in the rhythm of hip-hop, left an indelible mark on Ice Spice's journey. Although he remains cloaked in anonymity, his influence on her ascent to music stardom is undeniable. Ice Spice's earliest memories are painted with the hues of hip-hop, a world her father introduced her to when she was just a little kid. In the walls of the recording studio, she found herself at home, marveling at her father's creative process as he poured his heart into his music. Accompanying her father to the studio, young Ice Spice was like a sponge, absorbing every note, every beat, and every emotion that went into the crafting of a song. Her father's passion for hip-hop was infectious. He not only played the tunes of legends like Tupac, Biggie, and Lauryn Hill, but also shared the rich history and stories woven within the genre. Reflecting on those formative years, Ice Spice acknowledges her father's profound influence. His musical wisdom ignited the spark of her love for rap music. He inadvertently laid the the foundation for her journey, shaping her aspirations and molding her creative spirit. He definitely inspired me to want to record, Ice Spice recalls, her voice carrying the warmth of nostalgia. Beyond the melodies and rhythms, her father's guidance also served as a compass in navigating the often crazy waters of the music industry. He made her comfortable being herself, a reminder to stay authentic in a world that often demands conformity. His guidance remains a lighthouse that keeps her grounded as she charts her path. Ice Spice's journey to fame might appear as an explosion of stardom 
victim, but it's a story that's been years in the making. She attributes her emergence as an artist to the seeds her father had sown, the memories of being in the studio with him as a toddler. The flashes of those moments imprinted themselves onto her artistic soul. With a smile, Ice Spice acknowledges, subconsciously, I ended up becoming an artist because I saw my father be one first. His love for music, particularly hip hop, has been a wellspring of knowledge for her, nurturing her passion and knowledge about the genre. The bloodline of music runs deep within Ice Spice's veins, carrying her toward the forefront of the industry. Ice also revealed that her dad was Nigerian after a fan on Twitter said that she looks so Igbo that her name may be Chisum. For context, the Igbo tribe is one of the three major tribes in Nigeria. They are located in eastern Nigeria. Well, to that tweet, Ice Spice replied, I'm Nigerian, but I don't know which tribe maybe you write. Some people even went further to say, you thought I was feeling you sound like what an Igbo woman would say. Through all the highs and creative conquests, the heart of Ice Spice's journey pulses with the beat her father introduced her to, a rhythm that resonates with passion, authenticity, and a love for music that transcends generations and continents. She models for Beyonce. Even the Queen Bee, mother of the House of Renaissance herself, wanted Ice Spice on her marketing campaign for her Ivy Park brand. Ice Spice's come up has been one for the ages. Her breakthrough with Munch in August 2022 marked the start of her ascent. The impact was immediate, as Ice Spice herself remembers. I remember the week Munch came out. I'd gone to the mall, right? And a bunch of kids started running up to me like, yo, are you the Munch girl? And like, taking pictures of me and recording me. Then subsequent hits like Bikini Bottom and In Ha Mood. Her debut EP, Like, unveiled a new chapter. With Tracks like Princess Diana, Actin' a Smoochie, and the collaboration Gangsta Boo, featuring Lil Che, a collaboration that put her into the prestigious Billboard Hot 100 chart. February 2023 was a month of milestones as she joined Pink Panthers' Boys a Liar PT2, soaring into the top 10 of the Billboard Hot 100. And as if adding the final gem to her crown, Nicki Minaj graced the remix of Princess Diana, securing Ice Spice's status as a rising star in women's hip-hop and the title of the People's Princess. But Maybe one of her biggest achievements was getting the Beyonce stamp of notice. Beyonce is one of those few artists who have broken the glass ceiling and are living in the higher dimensions of stardom. I mean, she doesn't even bother to promote her albums anymore, but somehow manages to break records and sell out tours. So when she notices someone, it usually means they're doing something right. So if the name Ice Spice isn't already etched into your musical consciousness, it's time to catch up on one of the hip hop scene's freshest sensations. And if you need more than our word to believe it, just consider that Beyonce herself has recognized the 23 year old star power, making her one of the faces of the latest Ivy Park ex Adidas campaign. Beyonce's collaboration with Ice Spice seems like a match made in artistic heaven, and her recent partnership with Queen Bey is just the beginning of her promising journey. The release of Ivy Park's Park Trail Collection, a gender-neutral performance apparel line, marked the moment Ice Spice's name moved up in the ranking of stars. This collection is a convergence of style and resilience, inspired by the great outdoors, the vibrant spirit of the streets, and the boundless potential of the future. Ice Spice's inclusion in this campaign embodies all these elements seamlessly. In January 2023, Ice Spice took to social media to share her photos from the Ivy Park campaign, a visual testament to her growing partnership with one of the industry's giants. Reflecting on this unexpected journey, Ice Spice gushes, when I got the call, I was in disbelief. It was all sinking in on the flight over. I'm still so excited to be a part of this. Her involvement in the campaign perfectly encapsulates her fearless approach to life and music. She personifies resilience, a trait etched into her artistic DNA from her early days. In the campaign visuals set against an urban backdrop infused with 90s hip-hop culture, Ice Spice radiates authenticity. She effortlessly dons camouflage patterned cargo pants, an orange jersey shirt emblazoned with the IV monogram, stylish platform sneakers, and sleek shield sunglasses. The collaboration between Ice Spice and Ivy Park is more than just a meeting of aesthetics. It's a synergy of inspirations and influences. Ice Spice finds inspiration in Beyonce's unrelenting work ethic and grace, drawing motivation from how she carries herself. And just as Beyonce has redefined pop culture, Ice Spice is making her mark, one fiery rhyme at a time. In her style journey, Ice Spice has embraced her fiery persona to the fullest. Sporting vibrant ginger-hued hair, she's not just an artist, she's a statement. Her signature look is a cascade of vibrant curls, an occasional departure from which sees her donning long red locks with bold bangs. As Ice Spice ascends, we wonder what her next chapter will be. From hit singles to 
high profile fashion campaigns and even appearances at Fashion Week, her trajectory signals the emergence of a new style icon. Yet amid all this fame and success, she remains humble, acknowledging that her mother's influence, characterized by a love for brands like Ed Hardy and True Religion, has contributed to her distinctive style. With her burgeoning fashion legacy, Ice Spice has even become a muse for fellow celebrities. Lil Nas X's Halloween costume was a nod to her, an homage that resonated with her. She recalls, I was pleasantly surprised and impressed, speaking of the neon green tube top, denim cutoff shorts, and matching wig that channeled her persona. Ice Spice's collaboration with Beyonce symbolizes not just the fusion of fashion and music, but a stamp of how iconic she is becoming as a fashion girl. She dropped out of college. Ice Spice's journey through education and self-discovery is as dynamic as her rise in the music world. Growing up in the vibrant neighborhoods of the Bronx, her path was shaped by a combination of influences, dreams, and an unyielding drive to pursue her passions. Her education began in her Bronx neighborhood before transitioning to Sacred Heart High School in Yonkers, a Catholic institution. It was here that the seeds of her artistic fervor were sown. At the tender age of seven, Ice Spice found herself entranced by the beats and rhymes of hip hop, drawn in by the lyrical prowess of rappers like Lil Kim and Nicki Minaj. This fascination ignited her creative spirit, leading her to pen poetry and craft freestyle raps, a practice that seamlessly carried her through elementary and high school. In an interview with Billboard, Ice Spice delved into her musical influences, highlighting how her father's background in rap exposed her to icons like Jay-Z, 50 Cent, and Wu-Tang Clan. Her iPhone's Notes app became her canvas, where she meticulously typed out lyrics while immersing herself in the rhythms of hip-hop instrumentals. She candidly admits, when I saw Nicki Nicki Minaj. I was so mesmerized. She's the first female rapper that I saw, and ever since then, I was kind of set on what I wanted to be. As she navigated her self-expression, the moniker Ice Spice crystallized during her freshman year in high school. It became her artistic identity, a symbol of her journey through the landscape of music. Her educational chapter continued as she graduated from Sacred Heart High in 2018. Ice Spice's pursuit of higher education led her to the State University of New York at Purchase. Here, she became the defensive specialist on the university's volleyball team. She also studied biology here. However, life's journey took a turn around her sophomore year. Ice Spice's decision to leave SUNY Purchase was not hastily made. She reflects that she realized the institution wasn't the ideal fit for her aspirations. The challenges of a demanding commute played a role in this choice, prompting her to reevaluate her academic path, so she decided to drop out. Beyond the classrooms and campuses, Ice Spice embraced the role of an elder sister for her four siblings. To support herself and her dreams, she took on roles as a cashier at Wendy's and The Gap, a testament to her dedication to her goals and responsibilities. But as you know, it all turned out all right for her. And ironically, people now want her in their graduation ceremony. A young student, Lil Munchie Baby, on Instagram, orchestrated an attention-grabbing gesture to make an unforgettable memory. The devoted fan has masterminded a unique plan to capture Ice Spice's attention by purchasing a billboard in Georgia. The billboard stands tall, bearing a heartfelt message that reads, Dear Ice Spice, I'm feeling you, love Munchie. You're invited to my graduation on May 5th. Please Please DM. A captivating image accompanies the message, showcasing Lil Munchie Baby seated on a throne, donning his graduation cap, and holding a stack of cash, an expression of triumphant accomplishment. Lil Munchie Baby, in his Instagram caption, openly shares his journey, highlighting the significance of his academic achievement. He reflects on the challenges he faced, acknowledging that his determination to pursue education was intertwined with the transformative power of music and the support of his close-knit circle. With pride and gratitude, he declares his readiness to embrace the next chapter in his life. His story is one of resilience and gratitude, a testament to the transformative potential of perseverance. Even though Ice Spice dropped out, her music now touches the lives of her listeners, inspiring them to take bold steps, embrace challenges, and celebrate achievements. She's queer. i never been with a gangster, but... You date squares? Not squares, but I like... They're just a regular guy. Good boys and girls, yeah. Ice Spice has been making headlines not just for her music, but for her candid openness about her sexuality. In a tweet from September 2021, she ventured into the territory of sexual preferences musing, what's it called when you're attracted to masculinity in women and femininity in men? Little did we know that this was just a glimpse into her evolving narrative. In a conversation with Darden, Ice Spice delved deeper into her preferences, openly stating that she's drawn to those who exude realness and uniqueness. She playfully admitted that she doesn't gravitate towards squares, but instead finds herself intrigued 
intrigued by good boys and girls. This level of openness has resonated with her fan base and contributes to the magnetic charm she exudes. However, her bluntness doesn't stop there. After dropping her single Bikini Bottom, she filmed a video for Genius, dissecting the song's meaning and lyrics. It was in this very video that she made an unambiguous statement about her sexual orientation. They need to know we're here and we're queer. Blow the nicest, but I'm rude. I like too. So I was just like, they need to know, like we're here and we're queer. So period. This declaration not only showcased her pride in her identity, but also echoed her commitment to being an advocate for the queer community. Ice Spice really wants to make music that resonates deeply with the queer community. In an interview with Teen Vogue, she emphasized her intent to craft songs that speak directly to this audience. Her words, I wouldn't say girls specifically because the gays love me and I love the gays, reflect her appreciation for the LGBTQ plus community's unwavering support. However, she's not just targeting a specific gender. She's crafting music that anyone can vibe with. For her, the heartbeat of a song lies in its beats, the force that brings people together, regardless of their background. Her impact transcends music alone. Ice Spice recently appeared in a Skims campaign collaborating with Kim Kardashian for the brand's latest shapewear campaign. Yet, not every moment has been free of controversy. There have been people who have come for her identity. A situation involving singer Maddie Healy from the 1975 arose when he made remarks about Ice Spice's ethnicity and heritage, stirring up conversations. He said, she sounded like an Inuit Spice Girl and looked like a chubby Chinese lady. Through it all, she remained undeterred, standing strong in her identity and music. As she reflects on her journey, Ice Spice attributes her impact to her openness. She's not crafting her art to fit a specific mold. She's being unapologetically herself. Her music's appeal lies not just in her lyrics, but in the beats that infuse each track with energy. Speed asked her out. Yo, Ice. What? Today's my birthday. Happy birthday. It all started on his birthday. I Show Speed, a prominent YouTube sensation, took a leap of faith and asked out the rising rap star Ice Spice. The unexpected proposition extended during a live stream caught many by surprise and set the internet abuzz with excitement. Nah, yeah. since I'm grown now, can I have a chance? How old are you? <laughs> yeah, you can have a chance. Really? Yeah, for your birthday. No way. Where you at? So, yeah, Speed asked her out. I Show Speed, known by his family and friends as Darren Watkins Jr., ventured into unusual territory during a stream with fellow content creator Adam Ross. Seizing the moment, Speed reached out to Ice Spice and extended an invitation for a date. The genuine and audacious move displayed a side of Speed that his audience hadn't witnessed before. Ice Spice's reaction added a layer of genuine charm to the unfolding narrative. Her initial inquiry about Speed's age and the subsequent affirmative response, you can have a chance, painted a heartwarming picture of two public figures embracing a real and unscripted connection. The entire situation was cute, to be honest, and you can't watch their interactions without giggling. Here he was, still shocked at the fact she agreed to go out with him. I can actually have a chance? I said yes already, don't blow it now. Sorry, bad. Okay. In the age of digital connections and virtual relationships, Speed's direct approach was very direct, displaying a more traditional method of courtship, albeit with a modern twist. The raw and unfiltered nature of his proposition captured the essence of authentic human connections in the digital era. But one funny thing was that when Speed spoke to her, he wasn't his more hyper persona. He was more mellow, even though his eccentricity shined through sometimes. Now, can I see your face? No. Ma, you pick... <laughs> like oh my god bro like do you be bro you're not even an ugly girl why won't you just show your face you're not ugly okay, okay thanks Oh, young love. The spontaneous proposal sparked intrigue and speculation, leaving fans eager to witness the unfolding of this unexpected romance. As the world watched, I Show Speed's bold move showcased the power of genuine connections that transcend the virtual world, proving that even in online stardom, emotions can run true and relationships can be as unpredictable as they are heartwarming, and also showed how in-demand Ice Spice is. Even though we didn't see the pictures of them together for a date, it was likely a very private affair. Ice Spice is everywhere right now. She has features with Nicki Minaj, was feuding with Drake, modeled for Kim, and got noticed by the Beyonce. There's no denying that she's one of the most interesting artists breaking into the scene. If you enjoyed watching this video, click on one of the boxes playing on your screen to watch more similar content.